as soon as we learned that we were going to be working on the game, I asked myself, uh, what is what is it that we haven't seen yet in the video game world? Uh, you know, in the Spider-Man universe. At first, we just we were just looking at it as possibilities for you know like an exclusive game in the future, an exclusive game in the noir genre. But then as we brainstorm. Uh, the idea sort of came together to actually be able to play them all. And so, you know, that proved to be quite a challenge at first because people are like, you know, what, four games in one? Are you, are you guys crazy? And we're like, no. You know, then we started looking at it and it made a lot of sense. So we were able uh, to establish that we could have four worlds, four different Spider-Man in one game with each uh, their unique art direction. Once we had established that we wanted to, to, to have a concept with four worlds, we brought Dan Slott into the mix. Dan Slott is the actual writer of the amazing comic book series. So he came up with the, uh, the, uh, the mystical artifact known as the Tablet of Order and Chaos. And so when that tablet gets shattered in the beginning of the game, uh, the, the fragments are sent through multiple dimensions and it's up to each Spider-Man to retrieve them. Now, uh, unfortunately for Spider-Man, it ends up in the wrong hands. Uh, each villain actually gets a piece of the tablet and gains uh, additional superpowers that uh, no one has seen before. Uh, and basically it's up to them to retrieve uh, all, all fragments of the tablet. So the brand new universe that we revealed is 2099. Uh, and I was really excited to be revealing that universe. <laughs> What's great about 2099 is is the city itself, and the city has its personality. I mean, we're talking about high verticality. Uh, we're talking about a, a city bustling with life. You know, it's it's sensory overload basically. It's cars driving all over the place. Uh, you know, like giant.